Hello Star Wars fans, Nabil6901 here, and welcome back to another Funko Pop action figure review. Uh, today we will be taking a look at a pop that I wasn't sure about purchasing uh, when I first saw the images online, but um, as I started seeing photos of people who had it in hand, it was sort of convincing me, and then when I saw it uh, today at Hot Topic, I just, I was pretty sold on it. It looks really cool, it's awesome, and it's none other than the Stanley LA Comic Con exclusive. Ahsoka hologram pop. Uh, it's really neat. It's cool. Um, I don't have any Star Wars hologram pop Funkos. Um, so it, I'm kind of curious to see how well it kind of glows in the dark and all that stuff. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at the packaging first. And then uh, we're going to take it out of the box and see what it has to offer. Okay, so in this part here, of course, you've got your um, standard... Um, logos that are on the packaging you've got the pop logo up here star wars rebels it's still 130 it's just a variant of the um regular release of ahsoka you've got of course the figure and the clear packaging you can see everything that's included um the image of the figure the convention exclusive logo glow in the dark logo ahsoka title here the warning logos down here in different languages uh, vinyl bobblehead, and then of course in different languages as well. Side, so you get the same things just in different order. You've got a full image of the Funko figure. Top, the bottom, it retails for $15.50. On the back, like I said, it's just like the uh, um, standard Ahsoka, so it just still promotes like the uh, the two exclusives of the Rebels um, wave, which was Ahsoka Hot Topic exclusive, and then Sabine Mast was another exclusive, which I can't remember right now. You've got the StarWars.com logos, Disney logos, and Funko logos at the bottom part. So that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and uh, take it out of the box and see what it has to offer. All right, here is Ahsoka out of the packaging. Pretty happy with this Funko. Um, let's just take a quick look at the design overall here of course it is a bobblehead as you guys can see so yeah it's gonna bobble um the design is pretty cool i do have like a little like a little bit of the paint here is kind of um wiped off not a big deal though um you know but it's just a standard kind of grayish white with mixed with a a light blue kind of like a it's kind of just off blue, um, but still, it's it, it's pretty pretty nice and detailed all the way through, uh, just like the previous Ahsoka um, Funko. Uh, the design all the way through is nice. Her outfit, her two lightsabers. Of course, she can detach from the base. It's just a standard base, nothing fancy, nothing to be wowed about. She can stand on her own, for those of you guys that are curious, without the base. The good thing was, since I found it at Hot Topic, I was able to kind of cherry pick which one looked the best, which one wasn't, you know, a lot of the paint job wasn't messed up or anything, so that was good. Not many QC issues with this Funko. Really cool. Um, I wish I could show off on camera the glow in the dark. Um, once you turn off the lights or whatever and your eyes kind of adjust, it glows in the dark pretty nicely. Nothing like super like, wow, holy cow, it's lighting up green or whatever. It's just like very faint. Um, but still it, it, it is kind of cool that it has that feature. Um, if you ask me, I kind of feel like it may not be a hologram Ahsoka. It could be a spirit Ahsoka. I, like, in my opinion, I feel like she is dead in Rebels. But I mean, it's still early, and we, we, you know, there's no confirmation out there that she's alive or dead yet. I mean, I want the benefit of the doubt. I do want her to be alive. <laughs> um, but uh, that's just my opinion, of course, because um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't specify if it's a hologram or anything of the sort on the box. So there's that. Um, and I don't know, after a duel with Vader, I just don't see how she could walk away from it. I don't know. Do each their own, right? Um, comment down below what your thoughts are and your predictions are 
on um, Ahsoka's Fate and Rebels Season 4. Um, let me just give you a quick comparison, and I don't have it out of box. Uh, let me just... A quick comparison to the original release of Ahsoka. Okay. There you go with a little bit of good lighting. I, I mean, I obviously like the regular one better just because it's like her in person. Um, it's pretty neat. It's, it is, they, they kind of kept the lightsaber thing um, the same where it's kind of a see-through clear plastic and all that stuff. Um, so there's that as a bonus. And the details are almost there. Some of the differences, of course, are the, uh, the gauntlets here on the gloves. It's missing the wrist communicators. If that's what they were. I mean, it's sculpted there. You just, it's hard to tell. Also, the little design that's on the middle part right here of the belt, you can see that there, is um, not on here because it's just a paint detail. So there's that. So it's just minor, I'm sorry, minor subtleties on um, the Funko itself. I wish I could get it out of box, but I do want to get this signed by Ashley Eckstein eventually. So I don't have that one out of box. Um, but yeah, I, I, I recommend this to all Star Wars fans, especially if you're a fan of Rebels or a fan of, of the character. The character is a wonderful character, um, and I don't see why you wouldn't want to add something like this into your collection. It's 1550 a little pricey, like I said, um, but usually convention exclusives are a little bit more pricier because of the fact that they're conventions. Um, it's great that the general public always has opportunities, for the most part, on getting um, most of the convention exclusives, um, both these Ahsokas are available at Hot Topic only. Um, of course, if you went to the uh, LA Comic Con, uh, you were able to get this first before the public did. Um, a few days ago, it went on sale at Hot Topics, um, uh, Hot Topics website as well as the store itself. So if you see one, pick yourself one up. Pick two even just to get one signed eventually. I know there's a lot of people that likes to get them signed. Personally, for me, if I really do plan on getting one signed, I want to get one to keep in box, get it signed in person, and then one to just have to display, which I don't really display many Funkos, um, but this one's definitely one that I want to display um, on my uh, my shelves as soon as I make a, a Funko Pop shelf. So please comment down below and share your thoughts on this um, figure. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Please subscribe uh, to my channel for many more Star Wars reviews, not just on Funko Pop, but on other products such as action figures, which um, several action figure reviews are about to come right after this. Um, follow me on my social media channels, Facebook, ugh, Facebook, <laughs> um, and uh, Twitter as well, at Nabil6901, as well as First Order Transmissions Podcast and all of our social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, thanks again for watching, guys. Until our next review. May the force be with you.